Why did you start blogging? Well, I initially started a blog because I wanted to write fiction. I wanted to write novels. And so I thought I need to get, you know, start putting out some short stories or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then one day I just decided to write about my relationship with my son, Jack. Mm -hmm. um, and he was, I think six at the time, something like that. And uh, I wrote this, just this little blog post and it, it was called, um, why no, my son is not Rain Man. And mm -hmm. uh, it was a real simple little thing. And that was the first thing that people actually seemed to read. <laughs> so I had a few people share it on social media, like, wow, this is really interesting. This is really insightful. And I thought, oh really? Okay. And then I just, I would try to go away from it and then I would come back to it. And I found it cathartic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I just sort of, it became kind of a public journal of my processing because um, mm -hmm. I, was, I was coming out of a really sort of numb, dark season. I was that like very typical um, special needs dad who got, you know, really distant and, um, you know, just all of those, all of those really cliche things. Exactly. Um, yeah. I so, think we don't talk about that enough is the typical yeah. special needs dad um, because they, they kind of are closet dads <laughs> and a lot of them leave too. Uh, yes. we, we see a lot of divorce in our families. And yes. um, so, so I'm, you know, it's just encouraging that you are being so real about what processes you have gone through in, in adjusting. To that yeah. and your blog does a lot of that yeah yeah and that's what i started doing is just sort of like putting things out so well this is kind of what i'm going through and i, I tried to never let it get too dark because mm -hmm. it's not all dark but then sometimes it's just you know you've got to say you've got to say this mm -hmm. is really really hard um yeah. and that's just that it's i just mm -hmm. want to be honest this is really really hard um or this and and, and then <laughs> You know, then when you have the the positive posts, you know, like this is really, really good that people are celebrating with you. Um, uh -huh. So for me, a lot of this journey has been to learn to embrace the sadness and then to and then to embrace the hope. Um, mm -hmm. But just to be honest about where we are. And you're right. Um, dads are not good at this. I, I know it's it's hard for moms and dads. So I'm not saying it's harder for them. But one thing that is harder for dads, I think, in general, is dealing with emotion. Like just how do you process through emotions because you know mm -hmm. we're supposed to we're supposed to be tough and we got this yeah we got well well with autism right. you don't got this like what is <laughs> what are we dealing with this is extremely hard for anyone to understand um and there's so much tied in with that so we need help yeah, yeah. well and you, yeah you say that in your book about you know autism is um it's so different in every case and so right. you can't say oh yes i have a child with autism and this and this and this is what what's going on with them it's right. it's new every day yes. and um you have to take that on and it can be discouraging because you never know what the new day is that you face right. and um and you just have you move forward and um and so processing and you know, starting and for you it was writing, and, um, yeah. and I know for other people it's other things. I, for me, it was writing as well, um, doing a lot of blogging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, there's a lot of blogs out there, and there's a reason for it. <laughs> that's that's right. <laughs> Not a lot of them are read, but um, it right. does help us think through um, yeah. what we're going through. And to put something on paper makes it real, doesn't it? It does. You it to, does. You have to admit it. And, that's right. Uh, and, and some and and frankly, sometimes it, I always thought before this sounded like super artsy and weird, but sometimes <laughs> I don't quite know what I think or how I feel about something until I start writing it. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes clear and I'm like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, so writing can be a, a wonderful and it doesn't have to be blogging, it can be journaling as well. But sometimes right. you <laughs> have to force yourself to pick. Yeah. Sometimes you shouldn't make it public. You shouldn't. I've deleted stuff. I've had rants. I've had angry emails, things. And my wife's like, you're not putting that up. Don't you dare. So. Yeah.